We are now going to look at a data flow diagram for accessing a user email from an email server. So we'll start off with the user as an external entity. They will log on to the email server where they'll have to type in their login and password. From there, the email server will check it against the user database and grant them entry if their details are correct. Here the user is given two options. They can compose a new message or they can view emails that have been sent to them. If they choose to compose an email, they will type up their email and they will generally click send, the message will get sent and that will go to another external entity as a recipient. There will also be a confirmation that the email is sent, sent back to the user. When users choose to view emails, they are given more options. They may wish to just delete the email if it's classified as something they don't think is worth. They can also click reply and reply to the email. The message from the email will be kept intact and they will be able to type a message above it. Or they can forward an email where usually the message and the attachments are kept intact. So this is a data flow diagram outlining all the processes available within an email system on an email server. Okay, as you can see, it's a lot more complex than a context diagram with its use of multiple circles for representing each process as well as data stores when accessing data from databases.